Yellow. What is up, people? Yes. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. This thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm so stoked to have it. You guys have no idea. Um, I'm getting all three. That's it. Period. Point blank. End of story. I got to get all three and maybe a couple of the black ones. But here it is. The Ruger Wrangler. Okay. Uh, just came out recently. Brand new to the market, so to speak. And it's awesome. I freaking love this thing. That being said, I have not shot it yet. I literally just picked it up today from my local gun shop. Guys, always shop local when you can. Um, if they don't have it in stock, have them order it for you. You know, give the little guys some money. Um, but, rant aside, we are talking about the Ruger Wrangler. This is going to be an unboxing. Show you what it is, what it's all about, what it comes with, and a little bit of an overview, some specs, and what I think about it. But I am super excited to have this. I think it's an awesome gun. Uh, definitely an awesome, awesome price point. And obviously with that price point, you are getting a simple cardboard Ruger box. Nothing crazy, nothing special. Just their typical, you know, budget entry level cardboard box. Most people don't use the boxes that the guns come in anyway. Here is the actual gun. This is how it comes uh, packaged. You do get a little chamber flag thing. Um... It's like a little two-shot chamber flag. Underneath here is your manual paperwork stuff. And then inside here, you do get your little gun lock. <laughs> you do get your little gun lock. Um, so let's unwrap this bad mamma jam. And uh, get to it, shall we? Get to it. Get this out of the way. And bam! Burnt bronze, baby. Now, the burnt... I think they are all... They all look great. Um, they're all awesome. And uh, the burnt bronze is not necessarily my favorite colorway. The, the all just standard black looks pretty good. And for whatever reason, I do like um, the uh, the two-tone silver one. Um, but they all look great in their in their own um, aspects, you know, and, and they're just super cool. But yeah, this is the new Ruger Wrangler. It is a six-gun. It is a six-gun, a cowboy-style, single-action revolver, 1873-style revolver. Um, single action, just awesome. 22 long rifle, which makes it extremely versatile and extremely cheap to shoot. And, uh, the gun in and of itself is extremely cheap to just buy. So, I mean, you're really, there's no way you can lose. Plus it's made by Ruger. They've been making revolvers and single actions and just all types of firearms for a very long time. They're an awesome, excellent American company. And uh, they make really nice stuff, and it usually comes in at a good, affordable price point. And uh, this, in particularly, definitely does. So let's give you some uh, some macros, some micros. You know, a shot of the gun, pun intended. There it is. Give you a look, little looksy. Now. From my angle on the viewfinder, the color doesn't look like it's coming through exactly how it is in real life. But you guys get the picture. Uh, again, pun intended. Take a look at it. Pretty pretty nice build quality. Um, it's definitely an inexpensive gun. A cheaper gun. But, uh, you know, being as that may, it, it's made by Ruger. A, a solid American manufacturer of firearms. You will notice they're using hex head star keys and stuff for uh, for the screws in the frame, which is which is different, but cool. Um, that's definitely going to help prevent from stripping out those screws. And uh, let's get into it. It's just got a great feel to it. Super good feel to it. You know, it's basically a single six, um, but affordable. You know, not that the single six is exorbitantly expensive. Uh, but for some people, you know, five, six hundred bucks, depending on which one you get and, and all that and where you get it, uh, for a 22 single action revolver, you know, people are like, eh, I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. We'll run through some quick little specs. Uh, they're just per the Ruger website. You guys could look them up yourself, but saving you the trip. And, uh, first of all, this thing MSRPs on the Ruger website, MSRP for this gun, all of them are the same, whether you get the burnt bronze as shown here, the silver Cerakote, or the black, and that's the thing too, they are all Cerakoted guns. The uh, Where you see the color, you know, the burnt bronze color, that is a Cerakote, so not the 
best finish ever made, um, but it's also not the worst. A little bit more durable than a bluing. Um, not as durable as like a melanite or something, but you can get some cool colors out of it and it's inexpensive. So that helps keep the cost down. So MSRP 249, $249. And even at that 250 bucks, I would pay that all day long for this gun, but you can easily find them, uh, for like 200 bucks, 185 bucks around there, like 200 and under you can find this gun all day long and again that's it's the same exact price for all the variants no matter if you get the burnt bronze the black or the silver so that's cool super cool um checkered synthetic grips is what it comes with uh you know not a big deal but it does take any single six grips on the market so if you want to put some nice wood ones on there you want to put some stags on there you want to really dress it up or or change the look of it or the feel of it, whatever it is, any single six grips that you have will go right on this gun. Um, capacity, six shot. It is a a six shooter. Okay, so we have six holes in the cylinder. Traditional for a single action, you know, cowboy style gun. Um, and for the sights, again, more towards like the Vaquero line. Um, or a traditional 1873 single action army. You have a blade front sight right? Just a simple blade. It's not adjustable. You can bend them or file them down, but I believe that does void your warranty. Uh, but for the money, I mean, who cares, honestly? Um, and then a standard milled in to the, the frame, the top strap of, of the gun, uh, gutter style sight, which is traditional for the older six shooters, you know, like the, the single six and, and the Blackhawks and stuff like that do have adjustable rear sights um, adjustable front sights, swappable front sights, different stuff like that. And it's cool. And it definitely is a benefit when shooting, um, especially zeroing in the gun, especially to whatever load that you're using. Let me say, especially one more time, maybe, uh, get the point across that much better, but, uh, it's not traditional. And I, I I'm a big traditionalist when it comes down to stuff like that. And I, I think this is cool. I like that setup. Plus, it's less expensive for Ruger to produce, and again, therefore, less expensive for us to buy. So that's awesome. The barrel you're looking at is not quite a full-length barrel for a gunfighter style of six gun, um, which would be 4.75 inches. It is 4.62 inches. Um, burnt bronze uh, Cerakote finish on the frame, okay, and over the barrel. The barrel and the cylinder are steel from everything that I know. Uh, the barrel for sure, the cylinder I'm pretty sure is also steel, um, but then the frame is aluminum, right? So, you know, the frame of the gun, the grip frame, all that is an aluminum alloy. So that is another way that they get the cost down, makes it a tad lighter and uh, still more than durable enough, especially, again, again with that word, especially, I got to get myself a good dictionary and start learning more words, um, but especially for for a twenty two it more than good enough. I've got aluminum frame 38 specials and they're perfectly fine. You don't always need a steel gun. Yes, it's nicer. Yes, you know, it's it's higher quality uh most of the time. And yes, it's more traditional. You know, the old cowboys didn't have aluminum alloy six guns. However, uh in in today's day and age, it is what it is. And again, it's keeping that cost down, which is awesome. Um the the overall length of the gun, okay, talking overall length, 10.25 inches, so it's a good size gun, I got relatively larger hands as you guys can tell, sound like Mr. Guns and Gear here, um, but still get a very full solid grip on the gun, and again, it's not going to fly out of your hands being a 22, but you know, I can actuate everything I need to actuate perfectly, you know, it's got a good reach for me, uh, very pointable, very natural, uh, you can fan it. If you want, you can, you know, six gun it and fan it, which is cool. Um, but it's a good size. It's a perfect size, especially for a 22, especially for what it is. I, I think they, they definitely hit the sweet spot as far as the size goes. Uh, overall weight, even though it's a little bit lighter than an all steel gun, uh, it's still coming in at 30 ounces. So that's a good solid weight, especially for a newer shooter or a recoil sensitive shooter or, you know, whatever. It's not too heavy to where, you know, it, it's cumbersome. It's not too light to where you're going to get more recoil and, and more muzzle rise and stuff like that, even though it's a 22. Um, but it also, it, it helps, the weight helps 
make it feel substantial for one, makes it feel quality and uh, just balanced, just very balanced. And uh, it's got a, a great feel to it. It's got a 1 in 14 twist. Uh, it does have a transfer bar safety. So the little bar in there, uh, if you notice, all right, so it's coming up when I pull the trigger, which will allow, if I let the hammer fall, to hit that into the firing pin and ignite the round. But if I let, the, you know, the hammer go um, and off the trigger, then it's it prevents it from hitting the firing pin and therefore setting a round off. So it is safe to carry six in this gun, typically for a cowboy load. Um, you would load one, okay, load one, skip one, load four, and then, you know, close it on the last cylinder, index it, and that would be so if you're riding on your horse or whatever, you drop the gun, the firing pin cannot hit uh, the primer and go off and shoot your horse or shoot you or whatever it is you're in the middle of the desert and now you're gonna die you know so that is it's cool uh, it's definitely sacrilege comparatively speaking to a six gun um, but it's a nice safety feature it allows you to load six um, with a single action it's a little bit slower going so when you're at the range you know you want to shoot as much as possible so having that extra round and being able to have it safely is a nice touch all of the Rugers are like that pretty much, except for some of the older ones. Um, and, you know, you're not really gunfighting in the street with this. So it is what it is. But, yeah, it's totally drop safe. You know, you can smack the back of the hammer. It's not going to go off. You're good to go. Um, and then, you know, you do have a cold hammer forged barrel. So on a gun that you can get for $200 or less, a cold hammer forged barrel is uh is a very nice feature very nice feature again it's quality it's what we've come to expect from ruger uh ruger makes excellent guns you know they don't make the nicest of anything I'm not really the biggest fan of their semi-autos unless we're talking like the u not the usp um the lcp um because I, I have one and it's a great little you know pocket carry 380 but you're you're not going to see me with an sr gun you're not going to see me with an american you're not going to see me with a security nine not that there's anything wrong with them but they're just they're uh not up to my standards for a a semi-auto and i know that sounds a little pretentious they're great they work they just don't do it for me if that makes any sense but i really do like the revolvers i prefer um uh, smith and wesson double action revolvers but when it comes to single action revolvers, um, Ruger, you know, for being American made one, okay. And, and the quality and, and the wide variety of options, you know, other than them, there's freedom arms. You're going to spend $2,000 on a single action revolver. There's standard manufacturing, stuff like that. But those are all definitely high dollar guns. And, and unless you're going to get a Uberti, a Cimarron, a Taylor's and company, stuff like that, which are all made overseas. If you want an American six gun, you got Ruger, Colt. And and some of the other brands like I just mentioned, and Ruger is the only affordably priced one that still gives you an excellent gun. Yes, it's got modern features like a transfer bar. Um, yes, you know they're not exactly made how they used to be. There there's certain quirks about them. Um, the fit and finish might not be the best thing ever, comparatively speaking, when you're talking to a two thousand dollar revolver. But for five to eight hundred bucks, you can get yourself a really nice, you know, forty five three fifty seven. Um, 44 Magnum, you know, Blackhawk, Vaquero, whatever it is. Uh, and, and the single six too, excellent gun. And now with the Wrangler, the Ruger Wrangler, I think this is just awesome. For one, I love that it's Wrangler, uh, you know, cowboy, cowboy gun with a cowboy name, a lot of heritage with that. And I, I just, I can't, it doesn't come through on camera. Maybe it does. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of geeked about it, but just the feel of it and just, you know, that it's super cool and how inexpensive the gun is and then how inexpensive the ammo is, you know, 22 long rifle. Oh my God. It's not as cheap as it used to be, but it's, it's sure cheaper than anything else pretty much. And there's such a wide variety of loads you can get from it. You can get snake shot, you know, basically mini shot shells for it. You can shoot CB caps out of this. You could shoot Calibri's. You could shoot shorts out of this. If you wanted, you could shoot you know, stingers and velocitors and mini mags. You can shoot standard pressure stuff. It's literally, because it doesn't have an action to cycle, you're manually cycling the action. You can literally put any 22 bullet, 22 LR bullet through this. And even some of the shorts and, and the shot shells and different stuff like that, like I mentioned. So it's extremely versatile. Not only is that fun, play around with a bunch of different loadings and shooting on the range this could prove extremely useful for a cabin gun a hiking gun a camping gun 
um, you know, a bug out gun, maybe even, um, if you're, you know, recoil sensitive and, and you don't trust semi autos and maybe you don't have the strength in your hand to, to pull a heavy double action trigger, this could be a defensive gun. I mean, it, this can literally play any role that you need it to play. And for less than 200 bucks most of the time. Come on, people. If you don't own one of these, if not all three, like I said, I'm getting all three and probably more than that uh, just because they're useful. And uh, we'll kind of talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But if you don't own one of these things, you are wrong. You are absolutely dead wrong, dead to rights, Red Dead Redemption, wrong. Okay? So anyway... Um, Talk about some of the features again. Single action revolver. Very, very simple. Um, you can't pull the trigger and shoot it. You have to cock the hammer back, okay? It does not have four clicks like it typically would in a real 1873. It's got two, okay? And there's not really like a half cock or whatever. Um, I just locked the gun up doing that. Um, there's not really a half cock. It's just all the way back and all the way forward. Um, loading gate comes out here it's a little bit stiff okay that i'm guessing that's due to the cerakote finish because the cerakote finish usually does uh add a slight um dimension to the uh the parts that it's on but it's it's got a nice little cutout you can get in there with your thumb your finger whatever you gotta do open it up and uh the cylinder you know you load 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 in around go over to the next one load another one what's super cool about this and not traditional is that it, the cylinder will go spin completely freely left or right so you know if you if you miss one you can bring it back you don't have to go all the way back around again and that's that's pretty convenient sacrilege um yes but convenient yes you know it, it's it's the best of both worlds it still gets the job done close the cylinder index it and and you're right there you're ready to go um, being a single action though, you know, it does need to get ejected those, those cartridges. So traditionally for single action action, you have an ejector rod right here. Okay. You know, it's got springs and stuff. And so you line up the holes and you plop out the cartridges. So boop, next one, boop, next one, boop, boop, uh, uh, boop, you know, and you eject the cartridge. So it's definitely slower going than a semi-auto or even a traditional swing out cylinder double action revolver or whatever it may be however that's that's what it is man it's a cowboy gun it's a 200 dollars 22 long rifle cowboy gun and i think this is the best gun of 2019 i don't care what anybody says you can get these into so many hands of people that may have never even owned a gun before never even thought about owning a gun before it branches out into all aspects of firearms ownership you can hunt squirrels with this you can take it camping you know for pest control you can use it for defense if you had to you can use it for fun and target shooting there's there's 22 competitions that you can compete in with these you know get a couple of them like a cowboy and stuff uh, a brace of them if you will and uh, just super high quality you keep it at the cabin they're so cheap you could buy one of these keep it in a bug out bag it's a super simple design extremely easy to clean if you want to take the cylinder out open the latch push the detent pull the pin out cylinder pops out clean it all up very very few moving parts simple traditional proven action um and just overall great you know like you keep one in the bug out bag yeah it's a little bit heavier than a lot of things but it's a 22 and it's simple if you need to hunt to survive, if you need to defend yourself, it's still a gun. Yes, it's a 22. Put some hotter loads in it, but it's a gun, okay? You know, keep it at the cabin. Every, how many times, you know, could you possibly need a gun for whatever? You know, you're you're walking down the, the old dusty trail late at night. You know, there's, there's coyotes around. There's raccoons around. There's skunks around. You know, whatever you're doing. You're camping. You know, maybe you got to... You know, you, you're lost, you got to hit a little squirrel and, and crack them open and eat them to survive. I mean, a 22 in general, and then especially a cool old cowboy style single action 22 is nothing but fun. Obviously, in this case, well made and extremely inexpensive and super useful over any wide variety of situations that you could encounter or dream up in your head. So there's absolutely zero reason as to why you shouldn't own one if not all three but at least have one excellent action it's got a good trigger on it um 
It's not the lightest trigger. I know it's a rimfire. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm, I'm just doing it for the video. Um, it's not the lightest action, uh, lightest, well, the action's fine, but the trigger's probably four to six pounds, but it's relatively crisp. Uh, again, I have not shot this yet. Um, I will and definitely do an update on it. Like I said, I'm going to get all three of these and probably a couple of the black ones, you know, keep, uh, the burnt bronze and, and a black and a, a silver for, uh, you know, the collection kind of thing. And then have a couple of black ones that I keep at the cabin, maybe keep in a bag, you know, shoot, shoot the fire out of them. Um, but yeah, I wish I wish uh, this was a good angle so I could do like a little cowboy spinny madu for you um, and look cool on the internet for you. But yeah, the Ruger Wrangler, if I had more than two thumbs, they would all be up. It's awesome. I, like I said, I think it's the best gun um, of 2019. It's super cool, super inexpensive, great for new shooters, great for old shooters, great for people that know what they're doing, people that don't know what they're doing, because, you know, even if there is an accident, it's only going off one time. It's a single action. You know, it, it's great for the kids. It's great for anybody. It's simple. It's got that old school, cool cowboy vibe and uh, just fun, man, and cheap and cheap to shoot. There's literally not a single thing that I could nitpick about this gun for the money. And big, big, big shout out to Ruger for coming out with this and allowing us to buy this because I think this is awesome. Best gun in 2019, people. Check them out. Uh, check the links in the description box below. Leave below in the comment section if you like this, if you got one, if you're going to get one, uh, what you think. And uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.